Hello everyone, and this is Serenis here, back with another awesome Fortnite Battle Royale gameplay today. And I'm very happy to be presenting to you guys today another video. And this today, guys, is my first game of Season 4, so as you guys will know, I've been uh, taking a break from YouTube. Uh, because um, I've had a lot of exams recently, and I'm pleased to say that I've done two out of three of them, so I should be returning soon uh, to Fortnite and the uh, YouTube in world. And uh, quite a lot of things have happened, guys, as well. I've uh, also um, got a new internet connection, so um, when I come back uh, full-time, I'm looking to maybe uh, stream some Fortnite gameplay, so I won't have to deal with this uh, theatre mode anymore. But um, here's my first win of Season 4. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a solo gameplay. Um, really nice one, this one. I, um, you know, because I was still on my sort of... Um, Again, towards my new internet connection on this uh, night of games when I played, um, this was like after my uh, couple of exams. Um, I decided to use fit mode because I haven't got my full download switch yet, so I didn't really feel like uh, streaming this one. So a lot of it was uh, with the theater gameplay, apart from the last five minutes of which I recorded the end. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, I've got to say, guys, I'm really enjoying um, season four at the moment. Quite like the new uh, battle pass this season. Um, definitely like Omega at the end. Um, and they've tried to make some changes like upgrading your uh, character as time goes on with levels and um, I do like that aspect to it and uh, yeah definitely a lot of um, you know positives about the new uh, battle pass a lot of outfits that you do get with it as well and uh, I actually thought that they were going for more superhero angle uh, you know on side of things I thought we were going to be seeing like um, the flash or you know a sort of replica of that or Fortnite's take on the flash or something like that um, I was kind of hoping for Spider-Man if it was going to be superhero themed, but unfortunately, um, I don't think uh, you know Epic would have the rights perhaps for for that anyway. So, um, but you know, I'm not uh, disappointed with the battle pass. There's a lot of uh, you know quirky outfits in there, and I really like all the stuff. Like I said, I'm quite a fan of Omega, so I'm I'm pretty happy with it overall. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing what the season brings. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed getting on to uh, get this game, and I really hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm going to do my best to commentate it. This is my personal best um, kill count in uh, solo as well, so, uh, you know, the best uh, solo game that I've had, and um, hopefully this will impress my uh, master, Celerity's Manjaro, who I haven't played with for a while now because of my um, <coughs> taking a break, and uh, it also was uh, great to get back on uh, playing with um, Sun, and we've had some uh, good duos games since I've been back, so a lot of you know great times um, that I've had recently on the game. So right here at the beginning, guys, as you can see, um, we're using the theatre, so we'll be able to see uh, the people around me here um, at the time of the gameplay. Um, at this point here, I was just looking to sort of loot everything, and um, it was actually kind of funny on this night of games because I ended, I ended up playing the solo game. I was with Sun and the others, but annoyingly I got taken out um, in squad with them, and I had a gold scar, so I got a bit mad and uh, left the uh, left the game. So I really didn't want to spectate because we, you know, I didn't feel that we were really concentrating as a team. And when I lost the gold scar, I was like, ah, oh, sorry, I'm going to play a game of solo and. Um, I set out on this game like not really expecting to win, just kind of really, you know, playing it casual and, you know, seeing what would occur and um, ended up, you know, racking up some uh, kills in the beginning as you're going to see and um, I was like, okay, bloody, you know, I, I better start trying now because um, I might actually win this, so, um, but yeah, definitely um, was kind of funny to actually uh, come out with a W in this one and uh, as you can see here, there are quite a few people around the vicinity of who I haven't noticed yet, but I'm just looking to get the loot right here. And uh, at this moment here, I do hear what I hear um, some uh, footsteps. And at the moment, I'm in the party with the others, so I wasn't too certain of where it was. Um, I do uh, sort of mute them as I get into the final 10 because I had to concentrate. But at this point here, I managed to hear him spot him out to Leviathan. He just uh, decides that um, he can't kill me, perhaps, and just stands still. I'm not sure what he was. Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing there, to be honest, but I'll take it. Um, so that's my first kill of the game. Um, <laughs> like I say, I don't know. Maybe he just, uh, you know, he didn't really have a lot of loot. Maybe he just thought he couldn't win. Or maybe he had no ammo. Perhaps he had no ammo. Who knows? Uh, but there you go. That's my first kill. And um, <clears throat> as you can see, very close to another player right here on the left. And uh, at this point here, just gathering materials because um, it's always worthwhile having them in Fortnite. So I can hear the guy's footsteps. So I wasn't exactly sure where he was. 
And um, as you can see, it's just behind this wall. Uh, whip out the pump, and he's immediately killed right there. <laughs> so uh, nice uh, second kill. Um, so nice to come out, sort of win in my area, as Matt would say when he wins uh, Tilted Towers. I won the area, so yeah, I pr pretty much did there. Uh, two kills uh, off the bat was a nice uh, starting play, and uh, looking to fo move forward with the rest of the gameplay. So. Um, Really hope everyone's well as well. Um, you know, legend uh, Chris Mitchell. If he comes to this video, um, you now everyone that watched my content, thank you so much, guys, for still following my channel. Um, I haven't been as active. I suppose that's partly due to you know um, moving on with like life and stuff. But I am looking to put out uh, better content now with um, you know <clears throat> better internet capabilities will definitely help. Um, so you know, definitely looking forward to doing that. And uh, streaming is now a real possibility as well. So. I won't have to do all these unconventional uh, captures, um, and uh, yeah, because I'm I'm not really the greatest man of uh, fan of uh, theater mode. I mean, it's okay, but um, you know, I'd prefer a, a real live stream gameplay. Um, you know, hopefully as well, I can get the voices of uh, myself and my teammates in there as well. So you know, it's sort of easier to look back and uh, commentate, or just let the gameplay run out, um, which might be preferable. I don't know. We'll see when we come to it, but. Um, yeah, at this point here, guys, just looking to move on, really. Um, just looking to keep up the zone as uh, as per usual, currently on two kills. And uh, just looking for more people to fight. And um, <clears throat> it was interesting that Dusty Depot was the target for the meteorite. I was kind of upset about that because, um, as Matt would know, um, it was the first ever area that I kind of frequented. And um, as you can see, uh, there's the holes in the crowd everywhere as uh, due to the meteors. And uh, this guy, I get some really nice shots on him from range. And... Uh, He's pretty much buggered, as you can see his health there, and I start to build up on him to put, put the pressure on. And uh, at this point here, I just think he realised he had no chance and uh, tried to run away. Um, but there you go, uh, take him out, and as you can see, just grabbing the loot right here. And uh, nice plays there, um, can change out the green for the blue pump now. I think that's why I decided to do, I can't actually see there, but yeah, um, just a nice kill in that situation. Always good when you get a kill on a player to just kind of... Uh, you, you know, loot quickly in solo and just kind of move on because, um, you know, it can attract other people. Um, so if you don't want to be attacked immediately, just try and move on from that area. So at this point here, um, at Fatal Fields, but yeah, like I was saying about Dusty Depot, um, I was quite upset that that ended up being the target for the meteorite. I'm not saying, um, you know, I would have wanted Tilted to be destroyed, but it's, uh, it is kind of sad because, um, you know, that was kind of like the first area that I went with um, Matt when I got used to this game and a lot of my first uh, my first first Fortnite Battle Royale wins actually came from that area so um, it is sad to see it go um, but that's what they wanted to do with it um, so you know that that's the way it is I guess um, and right here just uh, well it's always nice to find a, a scar in the woods uh, next to Fatal Fields this late in the game I can't believe that you know, anyone that would have landed there didn't notice that. I mean, the chest was gone under the lake, so definitely people landed around there, were present around the area, and didn't spot that scar in the woods. They should, they should feel ashamed. Um, I mean, it's definitely good for me because it it, uh, it helped me out. Um, so thanks. <laughs> so at this point here, guys, loot into the house and um, see a chest at the top of it. So that's why I'm making my way to that. Uh, just looking to get more, hopefully, more medical heals. Um, well, unfortunately, you just get ammo and wood, which, you know, not bad, but nothing really, you know, amazing there. So at this point here, just looking around. And again, at this point, you know, three kills is quite nice. I'm just looking to really um, uh, chill, to be honest. And, uh, you know, sit, spot a guy in the distance here. You can see he's approaching. He's quite weak. And um, I didn't know how weak, but I just decided I was going to tap shoot him with a scar behind the wall. And uh, there you go, two shots and he's dead. Um, <laughs> so that's my uh, fourth kill right there. So four kills now and um, I was thinking at this point okay uh, better start concentrating now because I'm actually not doing too badly here <laughs> so I was like okay I've got to, got to focus on this a little bit um, <laughs> being in the party with the others I think it was at this point that I started to um, I might have muted my, you know, my other friends in the party because I really wanted to uh, get this Royale and um, but I had some great games with the lads recently really enjoyed playing with uh, Sun Hobo and uh, Dancer again it's nice to play with them all um, we had some really good wins. I've got a couple of really nice um, games to come out alongside this uh, first win that I had in Season 4. It's my first uh, actual win um, in the season. So um, a lot of great gameplays to come along with that. And I'm looking forward to bringing them out because uh, I did some funny things within them. 
and I will be bringing out Serenity's highlights vid because I, I promised uh, Matt that a long time, um, you know, for that to come out. But I have got an assortment of great, uh, great, great, great clips um, since I've been playing Fortnite Battle Royale, and I'm really looking forward to bringing that. And it, it has to be a very good highlights one because. Um, the master of the highlights, uh, Matt Tizai, you know, he's an expert on this, so I have to make it, you know, quite, quite good. Um, and it will be, it will be really good. Right here, guys, uh, spotting the, spotting this guy right out in the open, and uh, smart play from him to start building. Uh, managed to take his shields off, but at this point here, the tree's kind of preventing my vision of him, and he builds up very high, um, and it's a really wide open area, so at this point I was really thinking to myself, I don't really want to challenge that because... Uh, it's a lot of work for me at this moment in the gameplay and it's a very, like I say, it's a very open area. And as you can see, I think, you know, hindsight on the play uh, to sort of go off here, I think that was the right thing to do because you can see there are a lot of players around and it is a bit risque, um, you know, committing all my resources to that fight. So at this point here, instead of challenging that guy, I'm keeping my eye on him because I thought he maybe might chase. Uh, I wasn't aware of how weak he was. so. At this point here, just looking to sort of get away, uh, get a vantage point, get up on this hill and just have a look around. And it's funny looking back because when you play Fortnite, um, a few of my wins that I've had in solo and um, squad, I can't believe how close um, some people are to you in the game and you never notice that they're there. I've got like a guy right down underneath me on the hill of whom I never noticed and I was like, you know, geez, he's actually... Uh, you know, more or less a, a stone throw away from me, and we didn't uh, cross paths, so that's kind of funny. Um, at this point here, guy tries to uh, snipe me, I think, with a hunting rifle as I'm moving my way in here, so just looking to equip the shield and come back out. And I know where the guy is because he was the guy that I started to shoot, and as you can see, there's more players gathering in that area, so and I think in hindsight, in terms of um, vantage point and uh, you know where the zone is going um, I was happy to go the way that I was and um, at this point here I don't think that was me that hit him with a snipe I think that was um, perhaps uh, someone else because uh, I don't think I hit that shot but um, you know he, he definitely took a bit of damage I hit him there with a scar for 55 um, so that takes his uh, shield off at this point here just looking to really keep the pressure on him I was looking to aggress this kill because I didn't really like the fact of how he built up and uh, I did try to finish this guy off because uh, I just yeah, I was getting a bit annoyed of where he actually was in relation to where I was and um, I actually wasn't aware of the other players around um, so you know uh, for me it was just like focusing on that one guy but um, at this point here it's a sniper standoff and I have got this sort of advantage over that guy but I think instead of fighting a really hard uh, battle because the guy's obviously not going to give up I just decide to move on and get a better area in the zone and um, also I haven't really explored my surroundings as well I don't really like in Fortnite you know having a long drawn out battle in a place that I haven't really searched thoroughly so uh, that's why I was sort of checking my endpoints here as I'm moving around um, the perimeter because I, I don't want to sort of do all that work you know maybe get the kill on that guy and then get taken out by someone that was hiding here so um, that's why I'm kind of looking around this point Right here, come into these uh, buildings because sometimes they have loot in them, valuable loot, which uh, would be of use. Uh, so that's why I'm just kind of scoping it out. Um, the vending machine, not the greatest there, so we won't bother with that. As you can see, um, I think, is it the uh, the four kills, five kills? I can't remember now. I think it was the five or four. <laughs> Couldn't see on the preview screen there. So it's either four or five. Um, but yeah, um, you know, still really good uh, kill count. Unfortunately, didn't pick up anything in my last uh, sort of exposure to a gunfight. Right here, can see someone on top of this base, so it's like, you know, that's the that's the next go-to for a fight. Um, no, not doing any Kumbaya anymore, Matt. No Kumbayas in Serenity solos anymore, bro. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, um, see this guy in the distance right here, so going to look to uh, attack him. Um, but he is getting attacked by someone else, which I did sort of notice, but I was like, okay, I, I'm not sure exactly where that is, but I'm just going to have a little go at him anyway. Um, <laughs> as you can see, he's got his little launch pad, his little setup over there. And I don't think this guy knew exactly where he was getting shot from because he goes to the bomb his base thinking that he was getting shot from ahead and I get the easy finish on him there so I was really happy with that. But I could hear a lot of sniper fire around the area and I was wondering where um, that guy was sort of looking towards because he seemed focused on something else. Um, so Okay, so yeah, that was my uh, fifth kill right there. So um, yeah, so I was a bit sort of like, you know, I've got to be a bit sort of careful there um, to make sure that I don't, you know, uh, get shot out or anything like that. So 
look to grab his loot and uh I didn't realise uh, throw the poor four in there because I had to get the smalls. And um, at this point here, I didn't actually notice um, that the guy that was shooting at him was the guy to my far right here in the woods. I didn't even know this guy was there. So as you can see, I'm not completely unaware of that guy's presence and uh, the shots are starting to income in. So immediately start to panic build and it was a bit of a panic because I didn't think anyone was there. And as you can see, he's got the uh, gold uh, bolt out there, so I have to be a little bit careful of how I'm going to approach this. Um, but I think at this point he thinks that I don't know where he is, uh, so he decides to poke out a little bit of his green AR. You get back in that tree, mate. I've got a scar. You're going to get it, bro. And at this point here, I start to build up on him because I feel confident and I've got very good weapons. You know, blue tactical as well, so this guy doesn't really have a chance. Uh, precautionary build as he goes behind cover there. He comes out and I managed to hit him for 100 or so damage with my blue tactical and uh, there you go, that's my 6th kill guys and it was well earned. Um, so actually no, it wasn't a gold bolt, it was a gold semi-auto but yeah, so the guy um, didn't really oppose a threat to me. Um, you know, I had I had all the weapons, I had all the chips in my possession so yeah, you know, he, he didn't really stand a chance but um, <laughs> So that was a nice play guys, uh, 6 kills right there and uh, going towards the finals now and uh, at this point I was really starting to concentrate because like I said when I started this game it was more a casual uh, thing and uh, like I said you know I was like well okay I better start actually focusing a little bit and um, at this point here it was a really nice battle and I pretty much uh, secured the area, um, obviously there's still a few players left so um, I was just being careful here to sort of make sure that um, there was no one still behind me in this side and it looks pretty clear to me. Um, so at this point here I decide to move in. And as you can see uh, from ahead, uh, there's a guy building a massive base. Uh, so I didn't really want to uh, go all about that life. Um, so trying to sort of uh, make my way into the, uh, the gypsy camp, um, the, the circus or whatever you want to call it. Um, so at this point here just looking to uh, go inside there for a, a brief stay and just uh, sort of suss out the zone um, as I move in. And uh, the perfect thing to get from the chest because <clears throat> just to put my shields up and uh, also find a campfire so that will definitely have its uses uh, later on. And at this point here guys this is just where um, it was the real game now you're gonna see how the POV was in the game. Uh, normally because I was able to capture from five minutes here um, to my win so I hope you guys enjoy so at this point here guys you know nice to get the big uh, shield pot obviously that's going to put my shields back up and uh, can now focus on you know hopefully distracting that base but like I said before in solo and free for alls things like that you always want to be careful of doing too much work for the other players uh, so although this guy's got a big base of which I don't understand Something I never understand in solos actually is how other players let bases get so big like that. I'm like, you know, why? Why would you let him get a base like that? You know, how does he get a base like that? Um, you know, without being shot at. So <clears throat> obviously I know that this guy's going to be a threat to me in the future. And uh, this guy actually, a little spoiler alert, this is the guy in the end that I have the 1v1 with. Um, but, you know, like, I really don't want to be going up against that, if I'm honest, um, later on in the gameplay, because I don't really have any explosive uh, weaponry. And, you know, that, that base is a threat to me because of how big it is and the fact that it is in the zone. So uh, that's why I decided to put some shots on it, just to make the guy panic a little bit, and hopefully someone else would start shooting it as well. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, but for whatever reason... Uh, you know that that didn't happen so um, at this point here I don't really want to go into that side of uh, the zone as well considering how big that base is I want to try and get around the other side of it because I really just don't want to go up against that base uh, coming into the zone um, I mean I have a healthy amount of materials to protect myself but um, you know I just want to try and get in behind it and uh, sort of scope out the area a little bit without you know, doing too much work against that base and not really getting any rewards for it. So at this point here, guys, you can see um, the massive base that I saw earlier that was built in the distance. This was the uh, brick tower. Um, this is another tower that another player was actually in, uh, although I didn't actually know that at the time. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, I have to get into the zone, so I have to build here. I haven't really got a choice. I couldn't stay where I was. Um, so at this point here, I just have to really... Uh, really really fought up quickly and uh, quite a bit of luck uh, towards the end hit for me because this guy in the base to my right with the brick um, the guy that I just said about the annoying base that he had and I end up having a 1v1 with him 
Um, he actually just sniped that guy, so that guy's no longer there. But at the time, the game player didn't know that, so I was like, you know, kind of like keeping my eye on it. But that guy in the brick is now dead, um, so I don't have to worry. Uh, although I didn't know it at the time, but um, yeah, just uh, I wasn't really intending, you know, really uh, wanting this crate. It was more just uh, like to get myself at base. Uh, but obviously, the crate would have helped. Um, so as you can see, um, you know, they come up on the kill feed that someone sniped someone there. I think that was the guy in the brick tower. Um, but I didn't actually know that. I thought there was still someone up here because as you can see, I move into an aggressive position. And I, I get my shotty out to try and find it. And there's always loot. Um, so the guy in the base ahead where I said he had the annoying base that I didn't want to spend too much effort on. Uh, it's now a uh, contest between him, myself, and another guy down the ground who is sniping uh, to the far left of that guy because I can see that he was shooting at him. As you can see, he's behind a tree in the far distance there to my left. And this guy's in the massive uh, brick base right here. And uh, I hope I make Solaris and Jarens and my, my, you know, my best friends, uh, Sunny100, proud here with the uh, snipe that I'm about to uh, hit on this guy to make things uh, possible. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, Sun's already seen this clip, but um, yeah, Sun was pretty pleased with it. And, um, you know, like I say, you know, I'm starting to improve the sniper plays. And this sniper play does actually really help me to come out of this Royale. Being a bit careful here because I can hear some uh, fire at me, I think, from the guy on the left. So I was being cautious not to uh, get sniped at this moment in the gameplay. Um, but just looking to protect myself. And at this point here, I notice the guy popping out every so often. Whip out the snipe and then bang, take all of his shields off. Get a really nice shot on him right there. It was over 100 damage. So at this point, Serenity's is like, right. I hit you with a snipe. I never hit people with a snipe. I'm going up there. <laughs> so at this point here, moving forward, guys, um, with the scar in hand and looking to cause damage on this base right now. And at this point here, you can see him starting to move out and um, shoot the base. But um, at the time, the game player could hear him building wood, but I didn't actually see him move out of his base, um, funny enough. So at this point, I start to build, so I think, you know, just to protect myself. And he exposed himself right there. I get some really nice shots with a tactical. He's like, no, Serenis, you're not going to get this Royale. You're not going to put me on YouTube. This is not going to be it. We didn't know who it was, but, you know, you're not going to do it to me. But, you know, the pressure's too much. I'm just going to take the fall anyway. But um, there you go. So he goes down, guys, for the seventh kill right there. And uh, and the great pressure from Serenity's Manjaro. Uh, you know, he, he fell to his death, unfortunately, for him. But... I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, solo gameplay, guys. It was my first win of Season 4. Very happy to get um, 7 kills. That's my personal best. Um, although it doesn't sound particularly high, it is my personal best in a solo game. Still chasing a double-digit win on Fortnite. Um, but, you know, I really am enjoying the game. And uh, really enjoyed this one. To come out of the win today in quite a nice fashion. Um, really hope you guys enjoyed the Season 4 content. And I'll be back very soon with a lot of videos. This was Serenity's guys, I'll see you next time, bye guys.